In this video, we're in Microsoft Excel, and we're going to show you how to set column width or row height in centimeters or in inches. Now, to do this, the first step is to change the view in Excel. Go to the View tab. By default, you'll be in the normal view, but you want to go to Page Layout View. Now, I'll show you how to do this for one column. Say I wanted to change the width of column F. I'm going to right click up there on the F, column width. And now you can see that it offers you the opportunity to set the column width as either centimeters or you can input inches. Now, if I put in three centimeters, click on OK, that width is three centimeters. Now I can do the same for rows. Let's do it for row seven. I right click there, row height, and I'm going to change this to one inch, one IN. Click on OK, and that's now one inch in height. Now, if you want to change the column width for all the columns in your sheet, so they're all the same, click up here in the top left hand corner, right click on any of the column labels up here, column width, and we'll set this to 2.5 five centimeters and they're all now 2.5 centimeters in width and I can do the same for row height again make sure all your cells are selected by clicking up in the top left hand corner here and if I right click on one of the row headings here row height let's set these to one inch in height now you may have noticed that the default unit when I change column width is centimeters same for row height. You can change that default if you go to File, Options, Advanced, scroll down to Display, Ruler Units. You can change that to inches, centimeters, or millimeters. Centimeters by default on my PC anyway. Let's go for inches. Click on OK. Let's try it. Right click on B, column width. Now it comes up with inches as your default unit of measurement. Now, if you're setting up these column widths and row heights to create a grid, you do need to make sure one, that the grid lines print out, two, that you've got the correct paper size for your document. Now to get the grid lines to print out, if you go over to the page layout tab, you can see over here, there's a little group called sheet options and i'm going to tick this little print checkbox here that'll ensure that these grid lines print out you'll also see that there is a ruler across the top of your worksheet if you can't see that you need to go back to the view tab and tick this option here the ruler option now i'm showing inches at the moment and you can see that the printable area of my page is around about seven inches if I go to the page layout tab, you can see that the size of the page I'm currently using is letter. If I change this to A3, you can see the printable area extends out to about 10 inches. Please make sure you have the correct size set up here for the size of the paper that you are printing on. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you next video.